tailwind hover effects that will make your websites look much better. Number one, gradient button hover. To create this hover effect, gonna create a button and it is going to have a background gradient that goes from left to right and when you hover over it, you're gonna flip it and we are going to do it in a really smooth way. Let's create a button. It is going to be positioned relatively px6 and py3. Font weight is going to be semi-bold, text white, rounded corners, gonna hide the overflow and we're gonna use the group class to be able to create simultaneous hover effects. Let's create a gradient from left to right. It is going to start from purple 500 and it's gonna go to pink 500 and cursor is going to be pointer on hover. To create the gradient animation, you're gonna use two span elements. They are going to be positioned absolute, so they are going to be positioned relatively to this button. Gonna set to inset to zero, which will basically set top up, left, right, and bottom to zero. We're gonna use the exact same gradient for this one. Gonna use a transition, which is going to be opacity. Duration is going to be 500. And when you group hover, gonna set the opacity to zero. And let's copy and paste this. And we are going to flip the gradient from pink to purple. Right after the second span, gonna create a third one, which is going to have a text inside. It is going to be positioned relatively. You're gonna make sure this text stays on top of the other spans. So we're gonna set the Z index to 10, transition transform, duration 300. And there you go, we have the gradient transition. We basically hide the first span, and then after hiding it, we display the second one, which basically creates this smooth transition between gradients.